Hi, I'm Phoebe and today I'm going to be showing you a DIY book cover. So you'll be needing a book. I'm using a book with some lines, but you don't need to have lines. You could just have a normal map if you liked. You're going to be needing a needle and some thread. And you're going to be needing some cloth, some fabric markers because normal markers will bleed and it'll be all fuzzy on your fabric. You're going to be needing some scissors, a pencil, and some ribbon. Like this. Now you're going to be taking your book, your pencil, your scissors, and your fabric and opening up your fabric. Like this. Now you're going to be placing your fabric down on your table and putting your book in it. Now you're going to be taking your fabric and folding it over the book, leaving one side at the end so that you can fold it over. Now you're going to be taking a pencil and ruling a line with the guide of the book down the side. Then you can go freehand upwards. Now taking your scissors and your fabric with your book, you're going to cut along the line that you've just drawn. Now that you've got your fabric like this, you can take your fabric and open it up. Now, with your pencil, you're going to be marking a design on there that you will later be colouring in with your fabric markers. When you've done your eye-catching design, you, you should write your name on it like this. Now I'm going to take my book and place it inside making sure that where I've coloured, I've put it on the front. Like this. Now you'll see that you have two longer bits on each side that should be equal. What you're going to do is take the front cover of your book up and no pages and fold that in. Then take the other part of your book up and place that over the fold. Now what you're going to do is fold the other side in. Like this. Now you've got what your book should look like. Now I'm going to sew up the sides with my needle and thread. Once you've got your fabric like this, it will not fall off. And you'll be able to have it like this for a long time. Now taking your ribbon, you're going to cut about two or three centimeters longer than the book is. And you're going to cut down on an angle. Like this. That stops the material from breaking. Now what we're going to do is in approximately the middle of the book, you'll find that you have a bit of fabric left over at the top. Then what you're going to do is find the actual middle of the book and you'll still have some fabric left over. And what you're going to do is place it down the middle and sew it onto the top. So I'm going to be sewing where my fingers are holding together. Just there. Oh.